Hello. We now find ourselves at the end of a very long set of tutorials. Basically, tutorial 9, the smoothing tutorial. Now, um, I need to wrap this up. Basically, I'm not finished yet with the car, but to go on and just take you tutorial, tutorial through every single operation I'm going to do to get this in the final form that we want it would be extremely redundant so basically what you've got now is you have, have if you followed these tutorials from the start you have the tools that you need to finish this off now to in the sake of uh, not being redundant what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna just show you, give you a little, a few pointers on how to finish up the uh, the rough end modeling and the fine fine point tuning. Basically all these lines need to be adjusted and to be made as neat as possible. Now I want to show you where we're going with this so you won't get discouraged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here goodbye okay I'm gonna come in here select polygons and I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna select all these polygons here that belong to the rear hatch I can select these from this angle too This tutorial is probably a little bit longer than I originally wanted it, but uh, I think it's really crucial to, to show people everything that can happen and go wrong with the model. I've got some issues to work out with this one as well. Okay, now I've selected all the relevant polygons that, can, that uh, constitute the rear engine hatch. What I'm going to do down here is I'm going to just subdivide, subdivide, okay. I hit subdivide twice and now as you can see I've got a whole bunch of little polygons and a lot of lines and a lot of points. If I change here you can see there's a lot of geometry. There's an area right here that's a little bit off. I'm going to have to go back in. I'm just doing this right now to show you exactly where we're going with this. Now, uh, as you can see, it's becoming a little more defined, of course, as we subdivide it. Basically, Blender lacks hypernerves, and this is our way of making up for that. Now, if I come down here and add a modifier, subsurf, Ta-da! Look at that. Almost where it needs to be. Crisp and defined. Looks very good. Let's take a look here from this angle. Oh yeah, that really looks sharp. Looks like it should. Now, those sharp lines are a result of the subsurf and are subdividing the polygons way down there. As you notice, notice when we did the subsurf uh, right here, let's zoom in, you're coming up with some beveled edges here. Now that's normal because had we have subdivided the part like we did this rear engine hatch here which is nice and sharp and looks really good. This is very close to what it's going to look like in our final render with some adjustments here and there of course now the trick is on this car to finishing it like I said I've got some things to work out here and uh, 
what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is I have to redo the roof up here and subdivide all this and extrude new polygons from it. I'm going to knife several polygons in here and extrude them across and adjust them just like I would anything else, any other panel on this car. I'm also going to go in and rework the hood a little bit to conform with the actual Pantera hood. Now, like I said, you have all the tools you need to finish this up without any input from me. So, I'm going to end this tutorial right now and we are going to move on to the next installment which I'm going to show you how to start putting some of the real nice finishing details on like windows and trim and cutting the holes in the hood and putting the scoops and parts and everything and the wheels and but and finally we'll get to the interior so bear with me I'll get these tutorials up as quickly as possible and I hope this has really been a help to you uh, hope to see you in the future so keep on modeling and I'll be in touch bye bye